decided to uh, hit me up on the PM. So it's gonna be in, it's gonna be out. If you don't know, here you go so you know. If you want advice on any situation, person, place, or thing, and you don't want a video made, contact social medias on the screen, as well as prices and all that information right there. Or if you just want to vent, you know, a little session, you know, your boy, I'm open and available. You just gotta pay a little fee. Now, on to the video. Title. Of this email. I know I'm going to get beat up, comma. What do I do? As you remember, last week Hi, we started sections. I'm SpongeBob. Hi, SpongeBob. I'm going to kick your butt. No. I mean it. You did mean it. Damn. You don't even have hope in yourself? Sheesh. The other day, I had an altercation with a girl that slept with my ex and ended up hitting her and we had a fight. <sighs> okay. The other day I had an altercation with a girl that slept with my ex and I ended up hitting her and we had a fight. I regret it so much. I should have never hit her or even approached her. But I guess, I guess I was drunk and being an asshole. She ended up having a lump on her head and I wasn't hurt. All right, look, let me, let me, I'm gonna go ahead and hit you with it. Off rip, one, you never fight over an individual. Whether it's, this is a guy and you find out your girl sleeping with another dude or a girl and you find out your guy sleeping with another chick. Fuck that relationship. This shit done happened already, you feel me? So at that point, Go ahead and remove yourself, cause they don't remove you from the equation. Cause if you was in the equation, they either would have hit you up to see if you was interested in the threesome, or they would they would have never even put themselves in that predicament in the first place. You feel what I'm saying? But instead, they went ahead and did it. And then you said it was your ex. I don't know if he's your ex because it happened, or he's your ex after their relationship ended. She had she had slept with your ex. You fighting a female over your ex? No, 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 sis. No, sis. Look, listen, listen. You don't do that. He, he already an ex. Whether you have feelings for him or not, the ship done sailed. I don't know who broke up with who, who did what, but he's your ex. And then you fighting another female for him? Come on, mama. Come on. I mean, you said... You regret it so much. I'm glad you regret it, but damn, you shouldn't have even, you shouldn't have even been triggered to a situation like that. Your ex sleeping with somebody? Was she your friend? Your girl that's, no, it was just a random chick. Now you just look crazy. If, suppose they call, listen, all they had to do was make a call, you would have been locked up. You're not above the law, sis. Come on now. And then you swung first. Oh, come on, my mom. You gotta do better. You gotta do better. You gotta do better. Listen, you never fight somebody. You never fight another individual over your ex significant. Never. Especially an ex. Even if y'all in a relationship and he decides, he or she decides to cheat on you. Fuck that per If anything, you don't fight the person they cheated with. You're supposed to fight the person. You feel me? But you, nobody ever does that. They fight the individual they with. They, the individual they with ain't got shit to do with nothing. Who made themselves available for the individual to come in in the first place? You feel me? Great. If they had respect for the relationship, as soon as that individual tried to slide, they would have turned that nigga right around and sent him out the door. You feel me? But no. No, now you're going ahead and swing on old girl. Come on now. Come on now. I'm glad you regret it, because you should. That was stupid. I'm going to just keep it a bean blue buck with you. Shouldn't have did that shit. But let's keep it pushing. Uh, she ended up having the lump on her head. Hey, you put the shit on her. Listen. And I wasn't hurt. I don't condone violence, especially because you... You, you swung first, so it wasn't even self-defense. It was just, you was ready for war. But, if you won, you won, bro. That's all I got to say. 
The girl is from the same town as me and I'm bound to see her out eventually. She has a big group of friends. One of the girls in that group hates me already. The feeling is mutual. And sent me a big paragraph saying you mess with the wrong girls. And another girl in that group is a known fighter and pretty and is pretty ruthless, so I've heard. Damn. Why do you even fight? If you knew all that, you can't even say, I guess I was drunk. You said, I guess I was drunk. Nah, you making excuses for your actions. Come on now. We don't do that. We don't do that. Look, if you if you gonna do some shit, own up to that shit. You, 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 you fought her, you beat her ass, cool. Now her whole, the, all the Rowdy Rough boys wanna slice. <sighs> I'm basically just scared. Believe it or not, I hate conflict. <laughs> okay. I can fight if I have to and have the tendency to go a bit crazy after having a drink plus adrenaline. But it's just me against them. I'm worried to see them all out as pubs are now opening. I'm not going to go out and enjoy myself, but I'm worried. I have definitely bought this on myself, facts. I don't want to look like a coward or appear scared, but I'm shitting myself. I guess I would just have to fight back if they jump me on, jump me on, if, uh, I guess I would just have to fight back if they jumped on me. And I hope it's in a public place. If they did hurt me, I wouldn't get the police involved as I was the one who started this whole thing. See, there you go. All right, see, look, you know what's up. I'm proud of you. I'm proud of you to an extent because you you did, look, you did bring this upon yourself, so I'm glad you know that. And you best not get the police involved because if you started to explain this whole situation, they would have looked at you like you crazy. If you want, you want me to tell you what to do, because I'm not going to tell you to run away from this because you got to live your life. You can't live your life in fear. So what I'm going to tell you to do is face your problem head on, bro. If you, you know you did wrong, right? So the best way to approach this, you, you, it's either you can move or you can just face it head on, bro. Get the ass whooping out the way so you can move on with your life. Shit, if you approach it a certain type of way, Shuddy might not even be mad at you. She, if you, if you were, if you approach her in a respectable manner on some shit, she might, she probably, she might still beat your ass. She might, it's a might. It, it's always two, two, two sides to a coin, mama. She could beat your ass, or she not gonna beat your ass. You feel me? And then look, I don't even like. What was your reason? Your reason ain't even good, bro. You fought, you, you fought her over your ex. She probably gonna fight you. Did it? Karma. People think karma ain't a, listen, bro. Karma is real, bro. I'm telling you, you see that. I don't know your race, but we gotta, everybody gotta understand this, bro. Suppose you get into a fight with somebody, right? You, you swing first. Now, you swing first, they swing back, and it's a brawl. Y'all, y'all boxing each other, right? Somebody in the distance see what's going on, call the cops. I don't know if y'all peep. I'm not saying all cops is like this because I know a couple cops, they cool folks. You feel me? But understand, you, you, they might call the cops, you get the wrong cop. And they say they reach for a taser, they end up reaching for their peace and then they blow you and you rest in peace. And then you a whole, you a whole new story. You got people putting you on t-shirts and all that shit. I mean, have you seen what's going on? As a male, this is the rule for the guys. This is for the guys now. Cause God, look, y'all niggas be fucked up. Never put your hand on a female, but never let a female beat you up. Ain't nothing wrong with restraining a female. You feel me? If she hits you, you take that first hit to the chest, cool. Hold it down, do what 12 do. You see what they do, they just put, they just hold them down, you call the cops, they on their way, hold it there. Unless we talking about a She-Hulk, six foot, built like Arnold Schwarzenegger. At that point, I'm not gonna say nothing. Do what you gotta do. And females, time out. Y'all gotta relax. 
Some of y'all be like, yeah, I fight niggas. All right. You just ain't found that one nigga yet. That's all it is. Because the day you swing on that one nigga, he will knock your shit out. And then you're going to be looking like Boo Boo the Fool. You got to relax. Stick to your gender. I don't care what what you classify as. Because y'all be... Look, it's, it's the world we live in is kind of wild off the wall. All right? Never hit first. If you're going to talk that raw rah shit, talk your raw rah shit and then move on, bro. Talk your shit just... Cause yeah, that's all y'all. That's that's all everybody good for nowadays. Everybody good for talking shit. If it's an, on the internet or they face to face, but nobody want to swing first. I will never a hundred percent understand why people y'all just don't take it to the ring. Like hit up a gym, yo. Look, we got a problem. Let's go to the gym, duke it out, put the gloves on. Like people don't do that. People rather just pull up on you randomly. While you out in public on some shit, chilling with people, your homies, kicking it at a restaurant, and then they wanna fight you. Like, what are, what are y'all doing? Y'all just, y'all wanna get arrested. That's what it is. Y'all wanna look stupid. I ain't trying to do none of that shit. You pull up on me like that? Yo, I might be put in a situation where I gotta defend myself. Here's the location. If, you, if that's how you coming, this is how I'm coming. I don't got time to play with folks like that. If you want to duke it out, put the gloves on. Let's go. Hit me up. We go to the gym. We'll box it out there. If you ain't trying to do nothing, if you're trying to pull up on some high school kid shit, we not kids. We grown adults now. So that's how we going to duke it out. As soon as somebody swing first, it is considered self-defense and you have all legal right to put the paws on a bitch or a nigga. This, this is just what I would do. I'm not going to tell you what to do. I'm just gonna tell you what I would do. Call 911. People be like, oh no, that's a bitch. No, because if not, if somebody else call 911, when they get to the fight, both y'all going to handcuffs. It don't matter. And then not to mention, look, this is just from my perspective. I'm talking about me, my skin color. Shit, I might get shot. I don't need those problems. I got a kid, I don't need none of those problems. If you cause the drama, you better face your drama head on. If you know you're not in fault, if you know you're not at fault, I might be put in a situation where I gotta defend myself. Here's the location. Because let someone else call 12 on you, it's either somebody gonna get shot or both of y'all gonna go up in handcuffs. And at that point, it's, all, it's a little too late. But look, if you call 12, and then somebody swing and, and then you just defending yourself. You not a, you don't put yourself above the law. Let them do their job. People be the oh, old, that's no nigga, no. We trying to live out here. We don't got time for that shit, bro. And then, they, oh, everybody got an opinion until you in handcuffs in the cell by yourself. Then nobody going to say shit. You feel what I'm saying? Everybody got it. Oh, you shouldn't have did that. You should have did this. Fuck all that. We we gonna eliminate that shit right now. If if people just barking, let them bark. Cause dogs bark all the time. But ain't nobody gonna do shit though. But the moment you see a hand fly, go to work. And your situation though, hit her up. Just just get the shit over with, bro. Where you wanna meet? Can we get the, explain? Look, you can tell her what's up. Look, I know I messed up. And you probably want to fight me. I understand. I can understand. I could level. Just you got, just got to level with her. I can understand why you're mad. I can understand why you feel the way you do. I stepped out of line. Where do you want to meet? So we could get this over with. And honestly, if you do that, if you do that, she might not even want to fight you no more. Might. Don't get your hopes up. Might. Because you say you put a lump on her. But again, for the fellas and for the ladies, we got to stop getting killed out here, bro. And y'all got to stop getting locked up for some dumb shit. Because that shit go on your record for life and that will fuck you up. You dug this hole. Now you got to lay in it, mama. I ain't telling you to sit there and get your ass beat now. Never that. At least put up a fight. Better hit the gym. Better get your boxing classes up. Everybody going to have an opinion about this information because... Oh, you call him cop? Understand, I was raised to never, ever put my hands on a woman 
and never hit first. I will live and die by those rules. But if you swing, you better not miss. That boy Bruce Lee said it. The water could be calm, but at the same time, that shit could cut through diamonds. Cops ain't for me. They for you. That's all I got to say. Please make wise decisions.